against my face. This is huge. I don't think you guys understand. Will I use this again? I hope to. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am a little shook. I went to Michael's the other day and I came across these big brushes. This is huge. Look at this against my face. These are blending brushes. Blending brushes, just ginormous. Perfect for nine freaking dollars. Honestly, I'm assuming people use this for paintings and stuff, but here are the biggest ones that I possibly could use. And there is paint on this one. Okay. Even though they're huge, it's funny because we be using shape brushes like this for our face, just a lot smaller. Actually, oh my God, I'm totally gonna pull out one of my brushes just to see the difference. This right here is a regular eye brush. And this right here is the bagel brush. I didn't have a lot of options because these were basically the only brushes I saw that were uh, this huge. I went for these other huge brushes. Boom. These are pretty big, you guys. They might not look that big. Let me pull out a blending brush real quick so y'all can see. Oh, here it is. This is a blending brush, a regular blending brush, okay? Compared to this. This is still huge. I'm not gonna lie, each one of these brushes were like $15, which mind blows me that a brush this big is kind of the price of a, a regular human size. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these bagel brushes on my face. I'm not gonna lie, the most iconic ones are these. These are the ones that I'm very, very excited about because I just, I, I literally, I just can't with how huge they are. Before we do get started, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click that little bell that way you guys are notified when I post new videos. So without further ado, if y'all wanna see me do my face with these bagel brushes, then let's just go ahead and get started so i got a big flat brush i also got like a mini flat brush which is still pretty huge compared to a regular flat brush i mean so this is the other brush i got it actually reminds me of this brush i used to clean up my brows and then i got these like pencil brushes which also reminded me of pencil brushes i have so this is kind of like the regular brush i would use compared to this big old pencil brush i want to show you guys the brushes that i use just so you guys could really get an idea how huge they are because I feel like a lot of times camera does no justice okay <laughs> I was not able to feel these because these were you know closed up and packaged but these are like stiff I have brooms for days now I have now I could actually clean I literally think I'm gonna scratch the hell out of my eyelid with this No, 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 honey. This is not acceptable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Okay, yeah, this was the only one, the biggest fluffy one I probably was excited to use is broken. Woo! Oh, also you guys, I actually really wish they had some kind of maybe fluffy brush for these brushes, but I couldn't find anything to kind of possibly apply powder or anything like that. So I actually got these sponges. This probably does not fit the theme of this video, but it kind of does, kind of doesn't, but I'm still gonna do it. Jesus, take the wheel. She looks crazy. I did draw in my brows already with a brow pencil. So on a regular basis, I do like to clean up my brows. So that's the first step we are gonna do. So let's see. What's gonna be easier i think this one might be a little easier in case you guys are wondering these are the r and l brushes and this is in the shade huh this is in the number 40. i'm gonna start off by taking some concealer this is the nars baby and creamy concealer in the shade vanilla and i'm just gonna do what i regularly do so i'm gonna take the smaller one for the brows <gasps> oh oh and i oh This is kind of hard because it's so big that you don't want to go over your brow. It's almost like you don't really have a lot of control. Yeah, it's definitely harder to get in there and clean up. Oh my God, I think we did it. Hmm, that doesn't look bad. I just feel like I probably could have cleaned it a little more cleaner, more neat. But honey, 
That's the best we're gonna do today. All right, I think we got that stuff out the way. That wasn't that bad, but it's really hard to get the brow really clean with something like this, so it was all right. I'm gonna apply a little bit more concealer on the eyelid just because I feel like the brush picks up a lot of the product. Now this is actually very fast. I feel like I'm gonna do my face just so much faster this time around because it's saving up a lot of my time. Okay, so we're gonna move on to shadows. I'm gonna take the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette. I'm kind of going for a smoky, maybe cranberry look. We're gonna move on to the fluffy brushes that are very freaking dense. All right, so I wanna go in with like, oh. I feel like there's nothing on this brush. By the way, these brushes are from Artist Loft and I'm using number 12. Oh, wow, this is not. <gasps> Please do not try this at home. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I have to close my eyes. If I open my eye, I will literally poke my eye. This is not good at all. I have to really dig in that shadow for me to collect anything because it's not collecting. I'm literally scratching my eye right now. This is not a comfortable feeling at all. Have you guys ever exfoliated your face, your body? This is... 20 times worse. All right, we're gonna move on to the number nine. It's a lot smaller. All right, we're gonna go in with the dark brown now. This is making me really sad. I'm really just ruining these shadows. Oh, okay, this one's not that bad because it's smaller. I feel like I can't go as hard on my eye though. <laughs> I wanna blend so bad, but it hurts. I'm gonna literally go back in with this big brush just to blend out. Oh my God, what is happening here? I'm struggling, but she does not look bad. Do they have brushes this big that are not stiff? I really wanna know that. My palette, done. I'm gonna go in with an even smaller brush. This is the number six. We're gonna take a little bit of this cranberry color. You know what? I'm more excited about the bigger brushes because they actually feel like regular face brushes, not like these brooms on my eyes. Okay, this color actually seems like it's blending a lot better. I feel like I'm actually getting used to this paint already. I'm just taking it out like a champ, you know? Girl, I get fallout when I do my face, but I've never gotten fallout like this, let me tell you. With the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the black now. Look how long this is. I could literally hold it from like this side and I could have to, ooh, ooh, don't wanna do that. I'm literally ruining it. Let me actually try holding the brush from the very tip and see how well I do. Hmm. It doesn't hurt as much when I hold it so far. Look, all I'm trying to do is intensify this eyeshadow, okay? If I ruin this right now, ooh. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to loosen it up. Oh, that's just dropping a lot of the hairs. Oh my God. Okay. All right. I'm trying to go in and blend, you know what I mean? I just, I'm not gonna let this brew in my eyelid today. Let's move on to the eyelid. I actually wanna use this brush now, and this is the RNL brush in the number 40. This is a pencil brush, but I think it's gonna be a lot easier to kind of tap this on the eyelid. See, like this, it doesn't really ruin the shadow. <gasps> That's a lot of product. Yeah, that is way softer, oh my God. Let's give it a little wet moment. Okay, this shape of the brush is giving me a cut crease. I am not complaining. Please tell me you're looking at this. I think I just found my new cut crease brush. Look how perfect it goes on my crease. We are using the wrong brushes. I literally just put this against my eyelid. Look at that. <gasps> I think we just did something. I can't believe this. This is so good. Now I'm gonna really wipe this face off because this fallout is just not working for me. Final step I'm gonna do to the eyes is uh, apply a little bit of black and girl i'm gonna go in with this brush i might just ruin this entire look this is the rnl 70 brush i'm gonna go in a little bit oh I'm literally just gonna go like right on over oh wow 
And I think that's the most I'm gonna be able to do to my eyelid. Why does it look like I just had a meltdown right now? <laughs> I'm freaking applying some. Why the f is it not showing up? You know, thank God for wipes. Okay, finally, eyes are done. I think I kind of smeared a lot of the gold off because I was too busy smearing the black everywhere. Let's just touch her up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is apply some mascara and some falsies and we will move on right to the face. So now that we're done with the eyes, I'm gonna move on to my face, which I'm really excited because I get to use these really big brushes. So I'm gonna actually take my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition Foundation. I'm gonna take the shade Light Neutral number 105. I used the shade 100, but I feel like it's a little too pale for me right now. So we're gonna try this out, but we're gonna apply it with this. Oh my God, it's so hard to pick these brushes up. I'm gonna use the RNL 70 brush. These hairs shed so quickly, like, oh, well now you don't wanna fall out, huh? I literally feel like I was able to, oh, there goes another one. So I'm gonna start off by kind of just dabbing this on my face. Okay, let's go in. It's very streaky, but this is doing it real fast. These brushes collect a lot of product. I'm gonna apply more product than usual because I feel like it's just collecting all the foundation. Okay, let's try this one more time. I really feel like I'm painting some kind of canvas right now. Yeah, I have to tap. These streaks are not doing it for me. The hard part is gonna be going around the brows, but you know what, actually, hmm, actually, why is this? I'm not even gonna lie, I use this style of brush to clean around, not this size, regular size, to clean around my brows and that's not gonna work out for today's video, obviously. Should I use the small one or should I use the big one? I think the big one's gonna just do this a lot faster. Let's just go freaking in. Oh, or not. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Actually, it's working. It's crazy. I would think it'd be so much easier using a big brush, right? Because it speeds up the process, but it's kind of hard. <sighs> We're gonna move on to concealer. I'm looking at my brushes, and I think the one that's gonna work for my under eyes is maybe this really big one. This is the R&L 50 brush. This one might just fit perfectly under the eye, and it looks like it's really <laughs> meant for your under eyes. Okay, moment of truth. Let's go in. Ooh, right off the bat, she can go in the inner corner right here. <laughs> okay, this might be another brush that I'm gonna use. I noticed that this was a good brush too. They're literally the same style. I think overall I like this style of brush better because it's a little more dense. I really don't have to worry about the brushes moving everywhere. Look at this inner corner action. <sighs> if I use it like a regular brush, I just get so freaking anxious this is the interesting part i'm gonna set my face but i couldn't find any big brush so i'm gonna use these artist sponges can you imagine this actually working as a makeup sponge i'm excited i just want the sponge it actually really didn't grow as much this is the dry one and this is the wet one i see it the exact same i'm gonna take the lancome long time no shine setting powder to bake oh it picked it up moment of truth uh that's working really good actually i really thought because it's just like a regular sponge that it was gonna probably apply the powder very wet but it's not so here's like a dirty sponge i know gross but this is the comparison of the sponges so it is a lot bigger and i'm setting my face a lot faster which i am seriously just so in shock right now because i've never even had the idea of setting my face with a regular painting sponge a looks like a ghost honey i don't have a dusting brush off okay so give me a break y'all i'm gonna take a regular brush that's the only brush i do not have i feel like there was an area that kind of moved around i don't know if that sponge did that i'm gonna take my benefit hula bronzer i'm kind of sad that i really don't have a lot of options for my face but these kind of brushes like what do you really do so I had to clean out this brush and it honestly took a lot longer to clean. I feel like it, looked, it took a lot longer to freaking dry as well. But because it's not as dense, like literally you could really move it really easily. I think I'm able to somehow contour with it. I'm so glad this freaking lip bronzer is huge. Yeah, I knew it. We could do it. Maybe a little up and down action. Oh yes, it's blending it out. The forehead is a little bit harder, but for some reason we are able to still blend it out. Oh, she's gonna come in handy for this nose though. Look at that. Oh, that's a good contour. 
Well, for the nose, it was like perfect, honestly. Now let's cut this double chin. I'm gonna take the sponge again just to kind of clean under the contour. I'm wondering what I'm gonna use for my blush because I really don't have a lot of options. Amazing, okay. Should we do the blush with this a little bit? That's gonna poke my face. Okay, I'm gonna take this Tarte Dazzled Blush. If I could open it. Oh, there you go. Oh God, this is gonna be bad. Okay, I'm gonna take the Artist Loft number 11 brush. I'm gonna just stab this on my cheeks. Oh, it's doing something. Look how freaking long this is. This is not a good feeling at all. I'm really shocked that this even is like applying right now with this stiffness. I freaking love this highlighter. First of all, let's talk about the handle because the handle is so huge on its own. But I love this freaking highlighter. This is the color Snow Angel. This was from last year's holiday collection and I've just been so obsessed with it. I feel like this is gonna be super pigmented because the brush is kind of dense. Oh yeah, she's... Definitely there. Ooh. Okay, that was not bad. For some reason, these are like my favorite brushes. We're gonna move back to the eyes and I'm not really excited because that means I get to go back into these crazy stiff brushes. But this one right here, this is the Artist Loft number one. It's a little thinner, so I guess I could really not feel so much pain but i think i'm gonna do the inner corner so i'm gonna go in with this color right here oh, we're gonna spray her down a little bit okay see that doesn't really hurt because i'm just kind of dabbing and that is blinding this color too though is pretty bomb i'm gonna go in with the artist loft number five i can't even look at my palette anymore i cringing i don't even know how to hold this anymore but i'm gonna go in with the light brown and we're just gonna kind of pack this on the lower lash line that's what I should do. Do you guys see anything? I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the number two. It surprises me that they're so huge. Like I'm telling you, this might not look big cause the actual hairs aren't, but for a regular brush, it's just so long. And now I'm gonna take the little cranberry. I'm getting fallout again. Oh, well, that's actually working. I really thought I was gonna struggle more with my lower lash line, I'm not gonna lie, but this is not coming out bad. I actually even think it looks kind of blended she got a little fallout but we're just gonna dust that off and voila we are basically done i'm gonna cold my lashes what else do i need lips so i'm gonna basically just apply some liner which i'm thinking i should probably do my eyeliner as well with the brush i'm scared oh, it doesn't help that my eyeliner is dry as hell and now this is actually very scary please do not try this at home because this is very stiff just a scratch her on, literally. I feel like it's so rough that it's not applying nicely. It's just kind of like smudging everywhere, which I guess it's all right. Oh my God, you know what? I'm actually gonna take some of it and apply it on my lower lash line just to make it more intense. Every step takes forever. Just letting you guys know. I went ahead and applied my own lipstick, obviously on the side. For my lipstick, I used the MAC Retro Matte Burnt and Spice, and I went over with the Becca Glow Gloss in the shade Opal. And that is like my go-to lip combo right now, and I freaking love it. But that basically completes this look using huge brushes. The RL40 brush is probably the only one that I think I will use again because it was able to cut my crease. And look when I look down. I'm still pretty shocked that this did that, but I really recommend you guys try this brush out. I'm just saying, if you guys wanna use a brush that's gonna make it a lot easier for you, I did not think I would be recommending any brush in this video, but I literally am really impressed with my cut crease right now. Like, I don't know what to say. It came out so freaking good. It was almost as if it fit the lid so perfect, and it literally, as you can see, sharpened it on its own. It's so freaking weird, but I really do recommend this brush. I mean, if y'all wanna use it, if you guys don't, I mean, it's up to you, but I'm just saying i'm glad i was able to test them out i thought it was gonna make my life a lot easier maybe do my makeup a lot faster but i feel like it was a lot more time consuming doing my makeup i really think that my makeup turned out pretty freaking good i am shook but like i said it took forever please give this video a huge thumbs up it really helps a lot and just for the effort honey because it was hard okay like i said don't forget to click that little bell that way you guys are notified when i post new videos thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next one. Bye.